Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I've got these two rosemary plants that I figure I can plant right here. This is right by my driveway. There's my car. Figured they'd be nice to just line the driveway here. I just need the space to be able to plant something else. And they're pretty mature now. So I think it's time to get them in the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I got this little hand tool, just basically step on it. Get it to sink down. It's not gonna go much because the dirt is just so hard. All right. Now, usually this would work great if this was better dirt, but I've got mainly clay mixed with rock. And it's just real tough to get this up. Now I could use a shovel, but the shovel won't go down either. So I'm gonna use this to just break everything up. I'm already pulling up about five or six rocks as you could see rock but it wasn't a rock it was a rock monster it's definitely not fun so there's the one i'm going to kind of start this one as well no oh, this one's a little softer actually get in a little deeper So now I got some of this tilled up. There, there's some rock. It's all throughout. See? Shovel just keeps hitting rock, so it's just not gonna not gonna work. Let's try this one. At least I can get some of that dirt out and then till a little more. So that's a good enough hole for now that I can fill this with water. And same with here, I'm gonna fill this with water a couple times, let it soak in, and then tomorrow I can come through and this will be a lot easier. Those rocks will move out of the way. And I'll be able to plant these tomorrow. So if this proves I've got clay soil, I filled this up about five minutes ago and it's still, it still hasn't drained. It's just real bad dirt, but you gotta work with what you got. All right, so yes, that, definitely made the soil a lot softer now it's time to dig out the soil that we pulled up break this up even more it's not super deep but should work I mean it's not like these are really deep rooted plants should be able to work their way through the soil at least it'll give them a good start all right now it's time to plant so we are gonna re-backfill here. Make sure I don't get any rocks because I'll be planting it way too deep. You don't wanna bury the crown. And I could amend this with like some sand or something, but I don't have any. So the main thing is just getting the rocks out, making sure there's no rocks, aerating it, and it'll kind of do its own thing. A little bit of wood chips is fine. You can see pretty good root development here. I'm gonna break this up a little bit so that way it doesn't get root bound or it doesn't stay root bound. All right, so I'm gonna need a little extra dirt here. All that was rock, so it just didn't come with enough. So over here where I dug out for the bed, I've got a lot of extra dirt here. That's somewhat filled. I'm probably gonna have to come back with a couple more scoops because this will compress over time, but this seems counterintuitive, but I am gonna press a little bit around this because there's a lot of air gaps and air is good. We want some air. Again, this is clay, but I want the roots to have something to hit. Now, if you look, it's very important. See how I have this this is part of like the medium I had it growing in and there's the crown of the plant. And so I don't wanna bury that because that's really bad for the plant. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I can already see, I have to bring a little bit more. I'm gonna let this compress down a little bit over the next week or so. We're gonna get some rains uh, starting tomorrow for a couple days and then I can bring some more dirt in, mound that up a little bit more. So next let's go ahead with this one. It's the same thing, we're just gonna 
backfill a little bit and it's okay if you disturb some of those roots it will give it a little bit of a shock but it'll be better for the plant overall compress it just slightly i'm gonna now line this with some rocks and luckily i did pull up quite a few it'll make it look nice and then i can come through in a couple days and put mulch around it there we go I need some bigger ones. Last week, I dug up to be able to plant some wheat and some other, I was able to pull up all these rocks. So I've got plenty. I am definitely not in short supply of rocks. So I can just grab these and bring them back and we'll line that with these rocks. Get a couple of these all throughout to really hold it. And there we go. So this is mainly just for aesthetics, but there is some benefit to adding the rocks because that'll hold that mulch in it won't blow away it'll keep that all together once this compresses a little bit i'll bring in some mulch we're going to want to water this well thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed this video i'll keep you guys updated on how these rosemary do we are coming into winter it's probably not the best time to plant them but i had to get rid of them had to use them now luckily i'm in texas so we don't get heavy freezes and they can handle light frost um, they should be fine and even if there is a heavy frost they might die back but they should come back next year But today is the day to do it because again, we're having rain tomorrow and it should stay pretty warm. We're gonna dip down into maybe the mid forties at most for the next two weeks. We did just recently have a frost, so that's why I had to wait. I didn't wanna plant these and have it frost on them right away. I need to give them some time to get situated. In the days we're gonna have anywhere from 55 to 70 degrees for the next two weeks. So should be good enough to be able to let them get their roots situated and really kind of get healthy and ready for the winter frost so i'll keep you guys updated i'll let you know how this does see if you can plant your rosemary in winter it'd be really nice to be able to have these come out pick it and use it for the kitchen now if those don't survive no big deal and that's because i got this big rosemary plant in a container that i can actually move if it gets too cold and put it up close to my house right over there. It'll radiate heat from the house and be able to keep this one warm. So if those don't survive, oh well, they don't survive. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell and notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it really helps me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.